Hi guys, Kiwi Gav here and uh, yes, another bench chat. Um, haven't been doing much modelling lately. Um, so the funds are a bit down after Christmas and been having too much fun out in the sun and uh, camping and having time with the family. So that comes first. And uh, But I have been doing some minor tweaks and upgrades in the cave. By no means finished and it's an ongoing process as a lot of you probably will appreciate. Um, but I'll show you shortly. I'll take my uh, camera and just give a quick pan around later on. Um, what else I've been doing? I have managed to get some stuff in for some builds. Um, my Gravity Colors stuff did arrive. The, the second lot sent to me. Um, don't know where the first lot went. So I have got, and I did post some photos on the forum. Porsche. Uh, Racing yellow as an extra because they couldn't supply me the paper at the stage. Porsche Mexico blue, Camaro Synergy green for my 112 build. Um, white primer, might have to get some more of that. Multi use clear, and that comes with thinner if you need it. And the activator, so this stuff should be good hard stuff. Also, we got uh, one, two, and three stage uh, polishing compound, and finally, sealant wax. So, try that first on this puppy and get it finished. The big group build's finished, unfortunately, but I'll get it done. I'm just waiting on a respirator because. Uh, this stuff's pretty smelly, so I hear. Um, I also got for clean up uh, from the local uh, hardware store Bunnings in New Zealand, which is an Australian company. Um, some acetone, I'm going to get some lacquer thinner and stuff as well, but um, one litre of that was about $17 New Zealand. Um, the 500 mil was actually $12, so economy wise, the one litre is going to last me a long time. And I hope Paul and Lee don't mind, but I put some in my old UMP uh, bottles, make good use of those, put a label on it, and that'll be for those for those type of paints, clean up the airbrush and stuff. Um, what else? Oh, yes, I've been making. Some of these little beauties, little paint holders, alligator clip, and that comprises of a bamboo skewer, an insulation tape around there, alligator clip, and on the end, a bit of heat shrink tubing. So, start off with a pack of skewers this size, I've cut them down, I've kept this half for holding things with tape, that sort of thing, put it in, we then uh, crimp it and tape it, tape the alligator clip to the skewer, that skews all this light, it's a bright light day, and then the old electrical heat shrink, I got a meter of that for about two dollars, and uh, I did about 40 odd clips, which you'll see in a minute, so it's gone a long way, it's a little bit left there. Cut them down to little segments, excuse me. And uh, just with a bit of heat, shrink them on. One thing to note, when they shrink on, they do get sticky, so you might have to sort of prise those back apart until they cool down and they sort of stick back together. They're quite powerful clips, these ones. Got those on eBay, a couple of bucks for a whole heap of uh, bag of them, really, so it's quite a good value. Been enjoying surfing eBay lately, um, looking over the free freight out of uh, China and Korea and stuff. So it's one way to keep the cost down. And uh, unfortunately, I've got to do it because I don't really have a modeling shop in Nelson anymore. Um, some guys selling some stuff, but exorbitant prices and uh, yeah, not really the expertise I would like. I probably know more than them, so so I'll do it my way. Right, um, so yeah, 
build wise yeah that as I've said before I'm going to be doing this and looking forward to it so what I'm doing in the moment is uh, eBay and a few other online sites getting some stuff I want to get some L clamps um, to this puppy and going to get a, just a lighting kit I haven't done lighting before so I'm just going to get a lighting kit for this model to uh, sort of wet my toes and then um, I might really fully get, get into some uh, lighting stuff uh, I'm just going to buy a lot of Star Wars stuff a lot more, lot more Bandai and um, give a go at lighting up some Bandai kits I do like them uh, I want to get the Falcon and uh, uh, old uh, KTSO uh, I've been watching some videos and some guys have built them and even lighting up the figure of like KTSO quite cool pretty basic you just got to figure out where your wires are running and a figure like that down to its feet so that's the hardest part I suppose um, so that's all about it from Kiwi Gabe's Bench, um, not much else happening other than New Zealand's version of the Royal Wedding this weekend, so I, I suppose you could call it, uh, all black great Richard McCall got married, apparently, Dan Wanaka, so that's all the craze in the news around here, pretty exciting stuff really, isn't it, not really, um, hope all you guys in the Northern Hemisphere are tucked in and nice and warm, some crazy weather up there happening in uh, American Europe and Great Britain, so keep safe. Um, we've even had some cold snaps in the middle of summer here, so it's worldwide, so look after yourselves and uh, hi to everyone that I normally say hi to. Hi, Sam boys. Live at the bench with Paul and boys. Hi. Um, if you're new to watching, uh, subscribe and uh, if you're new to the uh, hobby and or getting back into the hobby um, come along join me on ICM forum um, international scale modeler google that and uh, you'll come across a great bunch of guys friendliest forum um, i participate on the new zealand one and the american one but not so much um, should do with the new zealand one i suppose but uh, the ICM is the first one i joined and I've got to know everyone and it's supposed to be my time. Um, but yeah. So enjoy the resty weekend coming up. Um, this video will probably go up just before the next weekend, next weekend. So enjoy your weekends. Enjoy your time off. Enjoy building models. And um, I'll redo the camera and I'll give you a quick pan around of... Uh, what I've been doing on my uh, bench. Cheers. Okay, so here's the bench uh, where I'm sitting at. Uh, that's in the slap in the middle, so I'll just quickly go around to here. So starting from the door here, just got an old bookcase, got some models, uh, some Star Wars mostly there. Wire wing, soft toy helicopter, but. Uh, it's an electronic uh, X-Wing that it took me about 15 years to build. It doesn't actually work now, but it's still a good model. Bench here. There's some kits that I've been working on. Music. Got to have that. Some more models up there. Ones at the top are sort of ones that are a bit of failures or what have you. So but, uh, Some armour there. A bit more vehicles. Batman there. This corner here, um, in the future at the moment, it's just a little notice board with uh, my calendar, but that there will eventually have about a 19 or 20 inch monitor mount on the wall, and that's where I'll base my laptop when I uh, get one. Brother in law is going to run some Ethernet cable, so I'll have uh, the internet all wired in and uh, be able to join some hangouts maybe. That little holder there, basically just some tools and washers, stuff like that. Stuff I sort of regularly grab. The tools on the bench there, files, sanders, UMP sanders, magnifier. Getting on a bit, need that these days, tapes. A little swivel spotlight, a bit of natural light coming in. Panning around, just that's all my paints I've got at this stage. Um, working on more, 
and uh, stuff like that. My two kits I just showed you before, my 112, and sitting on top is some um, original uh, Star Wars posters that I printed off at work, and luckily I work for a printer, so I managed to get some good quality uh, posters. So once they're framed, look good. There's my Camaro. Some Fords and Holdens up there. I'm not totally biased on either one, so it's a bit of uh, Aussie muscle. Here's all my uh, paint holders that uh, I'm talking about coming around. It's a nice cheap spray booth, does a good job, but I've rebuilt a shroud for it. Um, might actually make it slightly bigger again, I've got more room. Got the old paper towels there. And there's the old uh, airbrush and stuff and compressor. So yeah, that's uh, my bench. That's where I live. Redone uh, that piece there and that corner. It was uh, just made up of scrap wood. I've got some nice wood. Repainted cabinetry. So almost done. Get to come. I just got to do a bit of beading on here. What I'm actually going to do is have a capping where I can run cables. So I'll hide that around. Little cupboard there just needs a door. So self made cupboard. Some leftover building supplies down there. So yeah, work in progress. We've got some stuff up there. Now, all those kits up there are actually second hand. Uh, when uh, the local hobby shop did, was closing down or got taken, taken over by a guy, I should say, who eventually closed down. My brother-in-law managed to get me all these kits now. Quite a few of them have either been started or missing parts. So I'll try and finish them off. They were from a deceased estate. So to honour the original person that brought them, I'll try and finish them. But that's sort of in between builds. And stuff like that to keep my mojo going. So yeah. My happy little spot in the world in New Zealand. Cheers. So I uh, hope you liked that little wee quick tour. And um, so I just want to say again. I said it before. But um, please subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you next time on the bench. And we'll catch everyone else online on the forum. On YouTube. Facebook. We'll catch you later. See ya.